Hello, I'm gonna show you how to make a custom attempt counter. First of all, make a new level. And we're only gonna need uh, three triggers, I believe, for this. The first one is a pickup trigger. Whoops. The next one is an item persist trigger. We also need this counter label, that's what that's called. And we need an options trigger. First of all, we want to turn off the normal, uh, the normal attempt counter in the options trigger, hide attempts on. Let's move that down there. Then we want to give this counter label a new item ID. This attempts option sadly doesn't work, that's why I'm making this tutorial. And now we want this uh, label to increase every single attempt. So go to edit object in the, in the pickup trigger. Uh, set this to the correct item ID and make count one. So now it's gonna count up one uh, by one every single attempt and we want to save this value uh, Throughout multiple attempts, which is why we need the item persist trigger. So go to the item persist trigger edit object uh, Select the correct item ID and enable the persistent checkbox and that's pretty much it If we play the level now, you can see Attempt two, two, three, four, five, and so on. And now you can decorate this and give it custom animations and whatever. Uh, if you want to have it like the vanilla attempt count, then you can just then you can just use a text object. And also make sure to uh, go into the counter label and make it left align so it doesn't overlap over the text. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oops. Let's do it like this. And now you can move this around with move triggers or give it custom animations. Something like this, for example. And yeah, that's the tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you can use this in some way. And have fun.